Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you more of an advanced um, technique, I guess, with screen flow on how to edit from multiple camera angles. This won't obviously be a video for all of you, but for those of you who use screen flow like I do for everything, this is going to be a very useful video. Once I learned this technique for editing multiple camera angles together, it really helped me out. A lot of people say that maybe you need uh, Final Cut Pro to edit from multiple camera angles. And while I will admit that Final Cut Pro makes it extremely easy to do this, um, Final Cut Pro is $300. And if you're like me, when I saw ScreenFlow that can do the same thing, maybe you need to put in a little more work for $100 though, that's a lot more affordable. So especially for those of you who are just getting into it, you don't want to spend the $300. Maybe you already spent money on a camera or a microphone. Um, this is just a very easy way to do this. So this is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to edit from multiple camera angles. So what I have here, if I memorize over here, I have two camera angles of the same shot. What I did was I recorded from my iPhone and from my webcam at the same time. I just kind of, I turned one on, went over, turned the other one on and just kind of recorded. And now I want to edit them together into a really cool sort of video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to drag them into ScreenFlow. So just put them over there. There's angle one and there's angle two. And then what we're gonna do is we, for part of the shot at least, we want the two videos side by side and maybe a cool background in the back. So I'm gonna pull this image over here. Image I use for a lot of them. I'm just gonna put it in here and that's gonna be our background for some of our shots. So we'll pull that in. All right, so here we go. We've got the two angles and we are gonna make sure they're sized upright for the first thing. So we look there and that looks about right. This one is huge. Scale it down. A little bit bigger than the screen. If it's a little cut out, that's fine. And you would be doing some of this. This is just a quick video to show you how to do it, so I'm not too worried about the size. So now we have angle one, and then that's the highest one. So if you were to put angle, the video two, which and these go in layers, top to bottom is what you're going to see first. If the opacity is all at 100 on all of them, you're obviously going to see the top one first, and then as you turn the opacity down, which we'll use later, that's when it starts to show the second and third lines. So let's say we were going to bump that one up. Uh, up above, then you can, if it wants to do it, sorry, I was grabbing the wrong thing, then now we have angle two, okay? And then we have our nice little image here that we're gonna extend out. I'll just show you what it looks like, I'll pop it up top. That's what our background's gonna look like. First step in making the multi-cam, if you want the two-person shot, um, which is what I love to do, that's what I'm gonna show you how you guys how to do today, where you have two people in the same frame, it looks nice and it comes from both angles. Um, for this demonstration, both shots are from me, so it's going to be a little hard to understand. But imagine, if you guys actually go back and watch my October Apple event video, it's a good demonstration if I had me and a buddy, and we both had a camera angle on us. So pretend for this that maybe one of them is me and one of them is another person that you're interviewing, per se. Okay, first step, we have the two camera angles, and they're up top. We want our HD on the bottom. What we are going to do is we're going to click on this one, and we're going to kind of scale it down a little bit. We're going to scale it down. And we're going to drag it over to the left. We want that one maybe right there. All right. We're going to scale this one down. And we're going to pop it over right. And you can already start to see it take shape. This is kind of what it's going to look like. And I always center my videos like that. And like I said, the sizing you would mess with, you'd make it all look proportional and everything like that. You can even add in a little degree here. Let's go 35 degrees. Tilt it in. Maybe it looks like they're talking to each other. And let's take angle two. And go on the Y rotation. Then obviously you do the opposite angle. Make sure you do the same angle so it looks nice. But one of them, if you choose 35 degrees on one, choose negative the other. So negative 35 degrees. So now you can see they kind of angled in towards each other. So this is the first step. As you can see, we did that. So we've got all that done. So now what we're going to do is we have to sync them. The syncing is the hardest part of making a multi-cam video. Because as you see, if we play it right now, I, it doesn't sync at all because I had to go over and start the camera. Now they're way off. So when you are recording, and we're going to magnify it as much as we can here. When you're recording, if you see, if I put the marker right here, I do three claps. So you see I did three claps. What that does is it makes spikes in the audio. So these videos, they'll show the audio and it'll make a spike right where those claps are. And that's what we're gonna to use to sync. So here's where kind of the magic happens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoot it over and try and line these up as best as possible. Now that looks really good, but I'm gonna zoom in even more. When you wanna zoom in as 
far as you can on that little down by the microphone glass. And you can see I'm just barely off here. You'll never be able to get it perfect, but it zooms in close enough um, on ScreenFlow to get it pretty close. You can see I have a little bit of an echo. Can nudge it over a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. Okay. And the nice thing about this is we're only using one microphone. So if there's just a tad echo, that's okay. When you're watching someone in their mouth and you're listening, that, I mean, that slight difference, you're not even gonna notice when you go back um, and watch it since we're only gonna use one microphone. So now a lot of people too would have an audio track. Let's say you recorded, I'm using my blue Yeti microphone and it was actually being used for with my webcam. So I don't have a separate audio track, but it would be just the same thing. It would be a third track that you'd be syncing up. So once those are synced up, we go over here and we are gonna sync right before, we're gonna cut them. So we're gonna click on one track, hold shift, click on the other one. And we are just gonna hit T and we're gonna trim them. And we're gonna delete the remainder. And now we can slide, as long as these stay, you know, as long as they're both at the same spot, we're gonna slide them over and now they should be in sync. So now if you watch it, we, oh, so next step, we're gonna go and we're gonna mute one of the audios. So for me, my Blue Yeti, my nice high quality sound was coming from angle one. So angle one is where I want my sound coming from. Angle two, so we're gonna click out here, we're gonna click on angle two. We don't wanna hear any sound from that at all. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to audio and you're just gonna turn that volume all the way down. Okay, so now that one's muted. And so now when you play it, we can see that it looks really nice. It's all in sync, everything plays. And when you start to go through, it's perfectly in sync. You have a multi-cam and you have a really good looking shot especially if you have the really good lighting. I just kind of set this one up on a whim. Uh, if you have two different people, it's gonna look really nice. So here's the trick. Now we're gonna go down here and we are gonna trim all these just to the end. We're gonna delete the remainder. Okay, so now you are gonna take this. This is your, this is your third this is gonna be your third shot in a different video. So what this is gonna be, we're gonna export this out. We are done for right now, but keep the screen flow window open. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna file, we're gonna to go to export. I do all my videos in 720p. Um, my, my webcam on my computer doesn't shoot 1080, so there's no reason for me to go in 1080. So if you click on Apple TV preset, it actually exports in 720. That's a nice little thing for you guys to know. So you're gonna click export. And we'll just go to my desktop and we'll say, this is your multi-cam shot, okay? So now that's going to export. Okay, so now that it has uh, finished exporting, we're actually gonna bring the video that we just exported back into this. So I exported it to my desktop and we'll look at it real quick to, so I can show you what it looks like. So if we open this up, oh my gosh, it's open in Spotify, we don't want that. Let's open it with QuickTime. So it's kind of confusing to see. Let's minimize the screen flow real quick. So this is what we ended up with. If we play it. All right, so this is a test video of a multi-cam. So we have a really nice shot like that. And don't worry about the clapping. I didn't edit that out right now because we'll edit that back out later. Um, you can, so don't worry about that when you export, cause this is all still being edited. All we did was make your life a lot easier by doing the export now on this shot. But now all we're going to do is we're going to open up ScreenFlow. And since we already have the multi-cam shot, we can go ahead and delete this wallpaper cause we already have it. And we are going to bring in our multi-cam shot. So I export it to my desktop right there. We're just going to drag it in right here. And since it's exported from these frames, it's already all lined up as long as we put it at the beginning. So those three are already already all lined up. We don't have to do any um, resyncing of the audio at all. We're already done there. Now what we have to do is we have to go in 
and we have to make it so that these are back to full screens. Cause now what we're gonna do is now we have the multi-cam shot, which is great, but sometimes you're gonna wanna focus in on one individual person, one camera, instead of having both of them on the screen the entire time. So we're gonna go back to angle one and we are gonna change it back. We're gonna change that rotation back to zero and we're gonna scale it back up. All right, move it over to the center here. And that snaps right into place. So we scale it back up. And then we're gonna move angle two back over. We're gonna move it up just so we can see it. Again, change the angle back down to zero. Scale it up. It's gonna be too big. But now we can scale it down. And that looks good right there. And then what we're gonna do is while we're here, we're gonna click this and we're gonna turn the opacity all the way down. We're gonna do the same on our angle two. We're gonna turn the opacity all the way down. So what you see is that since we did the multi-cam and we already exported it out and it's our bottom layer, with the opacity off and the other ones, it just shows up. So, there, so this, what we did with the exporting, what we made it easier for in the future, is now we don't have to go through what we just did, resize, remove on every single transition. All we have to do is turn the opacity up, turn the opacity back down. For example, let's say, first of all, let's trim out the clapping. Let's just get rid of that right now, just so we don't have it. So we're gonna highlight them all again, hit T, and delete that first part. Select them all again and shove them all over there. Okay. All right, so this is a test video of a multi-cam. So I'm gonna let it play scenario we're going to be recording from two cameras maybe two camera angles or two different people and we're going to cut over to here is maybe we're right now we're looking at two separate screens we want to see both people um you wouldn't want two angles of the same person at the same time um for example let's say stop right here i want to zoom in on camera angle one let's say camera angle one is going to be me talking for a while for this, let's just pretend we have two people you guys can actually see how that works uh but let's say we have two people right now and then i'm talking primarily to this camera Okay, so actually we're gonna go with camera angle two. In my video I said, let's look over here. So that is camera angle two, it's up top. What we are gonna do, all we have to do, oh, and I just lost my place, where did I say that? And so I want this to be focusing on me. Okay, so right around here, right when I start to look at it, we're gonna go, and what we're gonna do is click on camera angle two. All we have to do, add video action, and turn the opacity up, and look, right there, Camera now we're on this camera angle. And now I'm starting to realize that my camera was ducked down a little bit and it's cutting off the top of my head. We're gonna cut to me, and we're gonna have just my face in this shot. And then for example, I'm gonna cut back over. Okay, so I said let's cut back over. So now we'll turn we're gonna hit a video action again and just turn that opacity back down. Now we're back to the two. I'm looking at this camera. I'm gonna be talking to this camera. Okay, so now I said I want to focus on the other camera. And what you can do, you can cut straight to the other camera. I like to kind of go back to the two camera angle and then go back out. Totally up to you guys. So now, let's say we want to focus on my main screen, my camera angle one. All we do, video action. Turn the opacity up. There I am. Maybe this is person one talking, you're having a conversation, and this person goes and is maybe explaining something. And you want to focus in on them um, and not have it be on two different people. So I'm going to be talking right now. Okay, so now I wanna go back to camera where we're seeing both of us. I'm done with my little spiel. Video, add camera action, turn opacity back down. And, then and that's good. Let's say I wanna finish out the video there. So now you've got it, now you've got multiple camera angles. And what we got is if you see, I'm gonna mute the volume here just so we don't have a little scrubbing. So what you see is we started out with two camera angles. And then if we get really close to transition, we'll hit play and it brings up camera angle one. Fast forward a little bit. It's gonna go back out to the camera two, or the multi-camera shot. Now we're zooming in on the other camera. We're gonna look there, we'll fast forward a little bit. And to end the video, we come back out to the nice two. You can see both of us, both angles. And so this is a very, just very, very simple, I just kind of threw it together video on how to do this. Um, you can do some very advanced stuff with ScreenFlow. People don't realize it. And the big complaint people have is that, you know, I can't sync the audio because Final Cut Pro does that for me. As you saw when I did the three claps and I just scrubbed it over and made sure the three spikes lined up, it, it's very simple. Um, and actually, even if you, you could have five different camera angles and all you're doing is making sure those spikes line up. So just make sure you do the claps, make sure you line up the spikes and then trim it. And as long as those are all the way at the front and you keep trimming all of them at the same time, 
they stay together. Um, that's really what it comes down to. Oh, one final thing I didn't mention. Uh, when you go back and we added in this multi-camera shot right here, you wanna go in and make sure, let's scroll all the way to the beginning, just some screen flow can be a little buggy sometimes. Uh, go back in there and turn the sound, uh, just mute audio, okay? Camera angle one, just to make sure we'll mute that audio. Okay, so now we're just getting the audio from the front that eliminates all the echo you hear. So now let's export it out. So again, file, and this should be the final one, export. Uh, Apple TV, we'll do that, export. Um, this is the final video. And we'll let that export real quick. Okay, so now we're finished exporting and we have this final video right here. Let's open that with QuickTime. Let's see what we ended up with. I'll even turn on the audio just so we can see. Alright, so this is a test video of a multi-cam editing scenario. We're going to be recording from two cameras, maybe two camera angles or two different people. So for this example, I'm looking at this camera, which is recording. This is actually my webcam. And then I look over here, and I'm recording from my iPhone. So what would happen is maybe we're right now we're looking at two separate screens. You want to see both people. Um, you wouldn't want two angles of the same person at the same time. Uh, but for this, let's just pretend we have two people. You guys can actually look up my October Apple review um, video to see how that works. Uh, but let's say we have two people right now, and then I'm talking primarily to this camera over here. I'm talking to my iPhone camera, and so I want this to be focused on me. So right now we're going to cut to me, and we're going to have just my face in this shot. And then, for example, I'm going to cut back over, and we're looking at this camera. I'm going to be talking to this camera, maybe this is person one talking, you're having a conversation, and this person goes and is maybe explaining something, and you want to focus in on them um, and not have Great. So now you can really see the power of screen flow, how easy that was. I mean, that was just a few minutes, and we have a multiple camera video ready to go. Um, what I do is, so when I'm doing that, I make the video, and I in the Apple review um, video that I referenced, I had 45 minutes worth of footage. All I did, I made the multiple camera shot first, like I showed you, exported it out, brought it in, and then I just sat there watching the video and I said, okay, uh, my guest is talking for a while. And I went and did the video action and turned the opacity back up and made him the primary thing. And I just watched the whole video and did that and it was done within minutes. Um, we had a beautiful multiple camera shot and you can do stuff. You wouldn't need to make them full screen if you wanted to and you can add in titles and everything. I just want to get that out there to you guys. So I hope this helped you. If I rushed over anything and you have any questions at all, feel free to email me, mike at uyghurtech.com. Tweet me, at mweger. Go to my website, wegertech.com. I am more than happy to um, answer questions for you, uh, go into length on anything. I'll even Skype you and help you out if you need. I just want everyone to have an awesome experience, and especially with ScreenFlow. I love supporting them because it's a great piece of software, a third of the price of Final Cut Pro, and it's extremely powerful um, when people uh, find the inner power it has and use all the features. So I hope you guys have a great day.